Hi, and welcome to Dead Cells. Sorry if I sound off. I've been sick for the past while. And this isn't so much going to be me going through the update, because I don't really know how to access that. And I think it does require having been the game. But since getting sick, I kind of picked this back up again. Also, since it's been in the drought season for game releases, is it a, I just been trying to find something to bide my time and I picked this up and shockingly got farther than I ever did before so just wanted to do a short video probably not even getting as far as I did prior but I know I did find out or at least I figured out a strategy that I like. Which hopefully I can... It is a slow strategy, which doesn't do well for the fast-paced nature of the game. Because there is a timer. You are timed. And though that seems less of a factor now than when I originally played. Of... Because before it was, hey, get into the next level and you get these bonuses at the, if you can find the door or whatever. Though that isn't so much at the next level as it is at your checkpoint area. So. Okay, chest. What's in it? Okay, grenade. I haven't used this one before. Or at least not recently. Support items are my jam. They're the one I use the most, and most things are red right now. I'm not sure if there's a better way to go about leveling the upgrades. Like if you, if it is something. I didn't expect to find that, but let's go for it. Might as well try. Dodging bomb. Dodging plant and a bomb. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I just need to not wait. Damn it. Okay. Didn't see there was one below. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oot. Oi, 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 oi. Forgot what these challenge rooms were. <laughs> this is one thing I haven't done since getting back into it. Oi. Oi. But made it. Shockingly. I'm surprised you got the basically upgrade. Ooh, I will take this. Every crossbow was very useful to me in the last run I did. But yeah, this, if not obvious, is one that I've gone through a few times. And like I said, I've made fair progress with it. Since picking it back up again. I wonder if getting damage in that rune challenge counts towards the damage to getting that or counts against me. Okay. You killed yourself, it looks like. Uh that's the crusher upgrade, which I like not love. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go to the promenade. I've been going through the sewers the last couple times. Um... That's the start area. This one would be... I think I'm missing... I know I'm missing the wall jump rune. I haven't gotten that yet. And now I'm definitely not getting that. Kill 30, but... I think there's one more in between. I just don't know what it is. I lost myself for a second there. Uh, sewers. I've been doing sewers the last few times, so I'm more comfortable doing sewers right now. Yeah, and I didn't get the two minute mark either. Yeah, because this was not here the last time I was playing this. Sorry. But yeah, I got a few things that I'm just slowly <laughs> chipping away at. Which I feel like I've also shot myself in the foot of, hey, let me do a little bit towards this and a little bit towards this. I don't know what this is, so I kind of want to get this. And as for upgrades... I tend to lean towards necromancy as one of them. Also, Hunter's Instinct is another one I go to a lot. Like, those are my definite go-tos. If I have a good arrow-based weapon, I'll hit up ammo. But I'll start with necromancy. And let's check about reforging. Um... I don't think it's worth it entirely quite yet. Sorry. Oh yeah. Wait. Refill. So this video might just be me doing this one run, depending on how long it lasts. <laughs> Though I may do a couple. Oh, well, I don't know. You'll know when I upload this and it says how many parts are in it. Uh, I still don't have all the upgrades I want. Or not so much upgrades, but support weapons I want. But that's the nature of this game. With the random. Oh, fuck you. And I did not like it. And I still kind of don't. I don't like random chance so much for a game. I play RPGs. Like, the most random I want is random encounters. But adding random weapons and random skill sets and random drops. Random drops are fine. Granite. Drops aren't really a big thing in this. Besides money. Which. food. Not really need anything. Yeah. yeah, I absolutely have a coward method of going about the game, but I don't care. Because it keeps me alive. Yeah. 
And shockingly, I've gotten past the black bridge the last few times where it took forever the first time. And I can't tell if it's the, uh, hey, just step away from it, in effect, and stop overthinking it, or it's the, hey, you actually do get some form of upgrade. You, I don't like the ice one, so let's try Swarm out. I haven't tried it since I got it. Not sure how long you guys stay with me. And I'm definitely not using a proper. Because I just got hit a bunch. E. It's first. Uh, did, they actually did not mean to pick that one. But consider it just random luck, I guess. Oui. Okay. Over here. Um, I meant to get red last time, so. Up. What the fuck? I've not had this happen. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. <gasps> what the fuck? <gasps> I've never had that happen to me before. And I'm not a fan. Super not a fan. And wow, Swarm respawns real fast. To use again. Uh... I kind of like, I don't want to get either of these, so just sell that. And that's one thing I've been forgetting to do, is sell shit. It's present plan. Oil on the enemy. It has better DPS. Or I could go with the assassin dagger. I think I'll go with the assassin dagger. No uh, rip parts. I don't feel like running through the ancient sewers. I just I beat it for oh wow, I'm surprised I've made it. Probably because I didn't go looking for the ancient sewers. Um, I kind of really have to take this just because it has a negative five to damage. Uh, Dungeon plants the bomb still, so it's basically same, just better. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get that. So. I'm also really close to that. I could just knock some of these guys out. And that's really what I struggle with of, do I focus on just getting rid of some of this list? I definitely don't even care to get the curse sword. Or do I go for the general upgrades that are going to just give me more health overall? But, yeah, I'm going to focus on getting that the moment because I feel like that's what I really need to do is just focus on one there's instinct and uh, victims burn when they die what's up with this 
Where do you want to? Suspicious. Yeah, no, I want you. There you go. Back to victims form when they die. Um. Up this. Victim remains explode. Victims slow down all nearby enemies when they die. Eh, 20% damage works better for me. I'm mostly thinking about, since I know I'm going to the ramparts, I'm going to be going to the Black Bridge next. So, the boss of the Black Bridge, what be best to use against that? It's sort of, like, that's how I went in the boss at the end of the Ancient Sewers, right after you get out of there, is what I did of, okay, what's best, what will help me against that enemy? Since most of what I was using for other enemies was ground-based artillery kind of shots. And bombs. It's not really working against that kind of enemy. So, basically, I focused on okay, my build is good. Of making my build good for it. Or just waiting till I had the build that was good for it to make another run at it. That's how I've been going about my... Hopefully this doesn't screw me. Okay, it didn't screw me. Toxic when they die instead of burn. Damage is the same. Or time, rather, is the same. Plus 50% damage. Huh. And my grenade also has the upgrade of 100% damage to a poison target. So let's do toxic. Get a little bit of synergy in this bitch. Well, it poisoned him. for a while. Damn it. Eh, focus on them. 